is Minecraft's biggest mountain and this is the largest village ever. Today we're gonna look at the biggest Minecraft thing. Number one, the largest cave of all time. Everything you can imagine is here. Lava, mine shafts, pillars and even a tree. What? The best part is that this seed works both on Java and Bedrock. What's the biggest mob in Minecraft? You might say the Ender Dragon. However, that's a boss. What if we ignore bosses? Then it would be the Giant, which is funny since he's unused. But we haven't used our secret weapon yet. Commands. By typing this, you can summon some insane mobs. This magma cube is pretty damn big. But we're just scratching the surface. I bet you don't know what the biggest Minecraft exploit is. And I'm not talking about cheats like Kelora. I'm talking about thousands of players getting hacked and losing their accounts. This exact situation unfolded last December due to a vulnerability in Java. Sounds like the perfect Christmas gift. Number 4. There are many amazing survival builds, but one base stands out among the rest. Mu Mega Base, otherwise known as the greatest base on 2B2T. But there is a slight problem. Virtually all players on 2B2T use cheats, which makes everything a lot easier. For several years, this was the tallest Minecraft mountain. However, in 1.18, the terrain was changed. Now every other mountain is taller. But which is the tallest? Well, that would have to be this bad boy. But that is sad. Why does it stop at level 256? It's simple. Mountains cannot generate higher than that. The world's biggest explosion is fascinating. In real life, that title goes to the Tsar Bomba. What? This is the world's greatest explosion? You should have seen my mom when I got a C from biology. Anyway, we don't have nuclear weapons happens in Minecraft, thank god. So we'll have to stick to using TNT. A lot of videos claim to have the biggest explosion, but for some reason nobody lets it finish. Back in 2017, Phoenix SC did some coding and created this. You're looking at an infinite village spanning from border to border. Now I know what zombies dream about. Despite being absolutely enormous, all it would take to completely level this village is one flint and steel. Also I wonder what would happen if a raid started. Number 8. The biggest ocean happens to be on 2B2T. Since 2B2T is a dangerous server, it's essential that you escape spawn quickly. And using the boat was one of the best options back in the day. However, this had a side effect. It loaded thousands of new ocean chunks, resulting in Minecraft's biggest ocean. We need Mojang to add global warming. That way, we can get an even bigger ocean. We all know which Minecraft edition is the best. However, which one has the most players? Today, the most popular edition is better. Bedrock, since you can download it on virtually any device. I can't believe Bedrock is beating us boys. Something needs to be done. How about this? I'm going to buy Minecraft Java for 5 of my subscribers. So subscribe now and you might win a free account. After traveling 28 million blocks on this seed, you will find the largest end city ever. Legend has it that this is the Shulker capital of the world. Walking through this end city without getting levitation is a whole new level of impossible. That makes me wonder, why do Shulkers need their own city. I mean, they already live in a shell. This end city is huge. However, it's nothing compared to what's later in the video. 12 years ago, the biggest Minecraft server had just 20 players. That number grew to 500 during 2011, to 1000 during 2012, and to 6000 during 2013. Those were the early days. 2014 was a huge year, as Mineplex reached 30,000 players for the first time. However, everything changed in December of 2015. Hypixel became the most popular server and it has been like that ever since. Number 12. If I were to ask you what the biggest Minecraft controversy was, what would you say? The 1.9 combat update? Not just tweets? Or what about the new chat reporting nonsense? All of these were pretty big. Until the dream cheating scandal happened. This drama was so big that even my grandmother heard about it. YouTube channels that had nothing to do with gaming were making videos on it. A cactus can grow to be three blocks tall. However, sometimes you might find this. A four block high cactus. So Datasack, how is this possible? The answer is simple. The game sometimes generates two cactuses in the same place, resulting in one tall boy. So the tallest Minecraft cactus is six blocks tall, right? You have no idea what's possible. The current record stands at 22 blocks tall. And there is a good chance that someone already found an even bigger cactus. The big cactus community is full of smart people, but so is the redstone community. Now I've tried choosing the greatest redstone build, but they are all very different. On one hand you have a redstone computer, on the other a graphing calculator. Who should get the title? God knows. But one thing is for certain, there is no shortage of massive redstone builds. You have people who made tanks, planes, chess, flappy birds and even geometry dash. 
By default, you can only set your render distance to 32, which is already way out of my computer's league. So I did the only logical thing. I spent all my money on a maxed out PC. Damn, I can finally use shaders. Okay, but let's try to go beyond 32. By installing Optifine, we can get that number to 64, which isn't just double the chunks. It's actually four times more chunks than 32, but we can go even higher by editing the options.txt file. 128 makes the game unplayable. However, it still didn't crash. So let's try two fi- Number 16, the greatest update of all time was Caves and Cliffs Part 1. Okay, let's get serious. 1.18 changed Minecraft completely. 1.16 was a huge upgrade to the Nether. 1.9 was a big and controversial update. But which of these was the biggest? I think we have to go back a little bit more to the update 1.0. Not only did this version bring a lot of new stuff like enchanting, villagers, fortresses, hardcore mode, and the entire end dimension, but this was also the first full release of the game. What is the biggest Minecraft world. In 2017, Ant Venom did an experiment to figure this out. The number he came up with was 97 petabytes. That's more storage than even Linus Tech Tips has. Obviously, nobody has ever generated a world that big, simply because no one can. So what are the largest worlds currently? That record goes to this 2 b 2 t download, which is 256,000 blocks wide, and the file size is 1.1 terabytes. Although that's nothing compared to Build the Earth. As the name suggests, this team of players is currently building a one-to-one -one replica of the entire planet, including all buildings, rivers and trees. This massive undertaking was made possible by two mods, the Cubic Chunks mod, which allows for infinite build height, and the Terra one-to-one -one mod. This mod takes data from sites like Google Maps to create super realistic terrain. The most popular Minecraft mod has more downloads than 99.9% .9 of all video games. By going to CurseForge and sorting by total downloads, we will see that there are several mods with over 100 million downloads. And all the way at the top is the Just Enough Items mod with 183 million downloads. Jesus Christ. If we look at the most downloaded resource pack, we'll see that it's the X-Ray Ultimate. Hmm, I wonder why people like this texture pack so much. Number 20. The map item shows the world from above, so players use it to create art. And the competition for the largest map art is intense. Just last year alone, the record was broken multiple times. Firstly, by a player named Garden of Eden. Then, a player from 2B2T built this masterpiece. But even that didn't last. This map was slightly bigger and took the lead. However, there's one person who wants this title more than anyone, and that's Garden. He destroys the second place with his 12.8. 8 million block map art. What's the biggest Minecraft statue? Back in the day, it used to be the Temple of Notch. However, that was made 11 years ago. Today, we have sculptures that are 100 times more insane. Take Yushio Tokura, for example. He alone made several incredible statues. Or this insane plague doctor from Jossie. Dude, imagine being a Minecraft architect for a living. In the real world, one of the most famous statues is the Jesus in Rio. And of course, someone had to make it in Minecraft. We've already talked about the biggest ocean, but what is the largest biome ever? In 2016, the Reddit user Ninja Snowman found the longest ice plains biome I've ever seen. This piece of frozen land stretches for more than 10,000 blocks. You see this pink spot? That's an entire mushroom island, which looks tiny in comparison. Finding such a humongous biome might be impressive in a normal world, but it is child's play compared to the large biome's world type. This is a giant void hole made in survival Minecraft. But that is sad. How was this done? Well, there is a way to break bedrock, but the Psycraft players took things to a whole new level. With the use of advanced bedrock removal machines, they've managed to remove 1 million blocks of bedrock. However, that's not where it ends. Because last year, they made an even bigger hole, this time in the nether. Building in the nether is much harder than building in the overworld. That's why when I see an insane nether build, I'm much more impressed. Not to mention if it's done in hardcore, like Filza's nether void project, or Looney's nether hub, which unfortunately was the place where he lost his legendary hardcore world. Oh, and let's not forget about John Bams, who removed 8 million blocks by hand. Dude, I have so much respect for these hardcore players. I'm way too reckless for that. Like recently, I bet another YouTuber $10,000 that I will reach 1 million subs first. So please subscribe. I can't afford to lose.